Bonjour, Kinemagi and Nene, Ireland Adijnikas, and welcome to today's math enrichment lesson. Today's lesson, measuring the sides and angles of a triangle. I'm going to lead us off with a video from Khan Academy about using a protractor. A protractor can be used to measure the angles of a triangle, really any other polygon as well. Right, what I have right in front of me is the Khan Academy measuring angles, measuring angles exercise. I have a small part of it in this screen right over here. And it's a pretty cool exercise because it has this little virtual protractor that we can use to actually measure angles. And I want to give credit to the, the person who built this protractor because I think it's pretty neat. Omar Rizwan, who was actually a high school intern, made this, made this pretty neat module. And so in general, when you want to measure an angle, what you want to do is you want to put the center of your protractor at the center of or I should say at the vertex of the angle, or you want to put the ver vertex of the angle at the center of the protractor. And then what you want to do is either rotate the angle or rotate the protractor. In this case, we're going to rotate the protractor. You want to rotate the protractor so that the zero angle or the kind of the zero mark is at one of the sides of the angle, and the other side of the angle is within the protractor. So let's try to do that. So if maybe we could put, if we want to do that, this zero side should be at this side of the angle. So let's rotate it. Let's rotate it that way. Let me just keep rotating it. Oh, I could just keep it pressed. That's better. All right. All right. That looks about right. So one side is at the zero mark, and then my angle, my other side, or if this was a ray, it points to looks like pretty close to the 20 degree mark. So I will type that in off the screen. You don't see that. And that is the right answer. And then we can get another angle. So let's try to measure this one right over here. So once again, place the center of the protractor at the center, at the vertex of our angle. We can place the zero degree, the base of the protractor, at this side of the angle. So let's just rotate it a little bit. Maybe one more time. That looks about right. And the angle is now opening up. Let's see, the other side is pointing to 110 degrees. And so this is larger than 90 degrees. It's also an obtuse angle. The last one was an acute angle. This is obtuse, 110 degrees, more than 90 degrees. So let me type it in. I got the right answer. Let's do a couple more of these. So once again, put the center of the protractor at the vertex of our angle. And now I want to rotate it. Uh, there we go. And this looks like a roughly an 80 degree angle. Not quite. If I had to be really precise, it looks like it's maybe 81 or 82 degrees. But I'll just go with 80 as my, as my best guess. I got the right answer. Let's do one more of these. So once again, vertex of my angle at the center of my protractor. And then I want to put one side of the angle at the 0 degree. And I, and I want to show you there's two ways to do that. You could do this. You could do just this, but this isn't too helpful because the angle is now outside. The other side sits outside of the protractor. So you want the zero degrees on the side so that the other side is within the protractor. So let's keep rotating it. There we go. And then our other side opens up, or you could say points to 70 degrees. So this is an acute angle right over here. So it is 70 degrees. So I'll let you leave you with that. Oh, look, I'm ready to move on, the exercise tells me. And, uh, and, and, and now we can start talking more things about angles now that we know how to measure them. OK, so when we get into those angles, and let's get a new share here. We're going to be measuring the angles when possible. Let's see if I can get a better drawing than that. Uh. So one way I can do to determine the type of triangle is I can also I can figure, I can do measurements. There's a word that I'm going to be looking for today, though. Congruent. That means the same. So 
same. I could measure these angles and this one's pretty close to 90. This is probably 60. And this one's probably around 30. Are any of these the same? No. So there will be a special type of um, triangle name for that in a future lesson. Scalene is the hint. Let's say that these ones are the same that you can use to measure them. Once they're measured, if they're the same, if you have two of the same, we call that isosceles. So you can measure sides using a ruler. You can measure your angle using a protractor. We do have physical protractors in the classroom. Um, if you use one, um, please make sure to give it back to me. Um, and I will sanitize them after class. Um, keep in mind that uh, all measurements of an inside triangle add up to 180 degrees. If all three are exactly the same in the angles or all three sides are the same, we call it equilateral. Isosceles is when we have two equal sides. And if they're equal, they are congruent. And scalene has nothing congruent. Don't forget acute, less than 90, right triangle, 90, obtuse, bigger than 90. A square will represent a 90 degree angle and the others will not. And then we'll come back and review this one tomorrow. At this point, I would like you to complete the worksheet version of this assignment. It is labeled with page 911. It actually does come from our My Math textbook. Um, on the top part, you're going to measure the side, so you'll use a ruler. On the bottom part, you'll use a protractor. Um, describe the number of acute right or obtuse angles as part of that. Um, on the top part, you'll end up describing the number of congruent sides. Uh, we will create a Google form of this for uh, those of you that are working at home. Um, the preferred method is paper, because even at home, you will need to use the paper copy in order to um, find the answers to put in the Google form. If you have any questions, please reach out or feel free to check back at resources such as Khan Academy or Math is Fun. I don't take it personally if you do further research. In fact, I think that's awesome. But I'm going to go back to this beach over my shoulder because it's looking nice here in this final week of the third quarter. Maybe I'll dip my toes in the sand and then run right into the water and hopefully not find a jellyfish. Have a minute of Gijigat. Minwa. Bama pee.